success as you cleared your CISSP exam. So most welcome to this meeting, Aditya. Thank you, Pratima. It's a pleasure again to come back on this platform. Thank so, you once again for inviting me. Yeah. Thank you for coming. So Aditya, uh, like um, what inspired you to pursue this CISSP certification? So basically, I was looking for a specific certification. I have done a lot of certifications in my career. Uh, most of them were basically technical certifications. Um, some of them into networking, some of them into cloud. So I was looking for a specific certification which can give me an edge to take my career into the next step of mid-management. So that is when I, I mean, did a lot of search and I found out this specific certification, CISSP, which is kind of a mixed blend of both uh, technical as well as managerial aspect. So that's when I decided that I will go for this certification. Okay. And so that's what... how, I mean. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what challenges did you face uh, while preparing for the certification? Yeah, so basically uh, there were a lot of challenges uh, while I was preparing for this specific certification uh, because this particular certification has got a huge number of domains. I, I think there are eight domains right. and they are touching every aspect of security be it physical security, be it logical security, be it access management, be it everything from the security perspective. So I did a lot of, I mean, search, internet search to try and find out a specific, you know, um, institute which can provide me, you know, handholding. So I know there are institute out there who provide boot camps of 48 hours, mm -hmm. but when I checked on you know, when I gone through this particular certification, I thought that this cannot be covered within 48 hours. So that's right. when I did a lot of search and I found out CyberNOS, where I like the structured approach of CyberNOS, where there is a handholding for 90 days, which is very important for this particular certification. Over and above, there, there is another aspect which I loved about CyberNOS is there is a daily tracker, okay, which right. which is which is published by Manoj sir, where everybody has to put in all the efforts in a piece of chunks. So that is a good aspect. Like every day, people are given a specific aspect from the Cybex. They have to read 15 to 20 pages. That book is very huge. I think it's 600 600 pages. So this is a good effort, like reading 15 to 20 pages daily and doing practice test, putting that into your tracker, couple that with the video, which are there on the portal. So they form a very essential part of the journey. And of course, there is a everyday follow up from the Manoj sir, which is very much required, as well as that gives you, you know, an edge when you see others competing with you so that also it's kind of a motivation factor for you to strive to this particular journey so that is a good part you know what i found out in cybernos compared to you know other institutes which are out there and that really helps in this particular journey okay and uh, uh... What do you want to say about the Mission CISSP Success Toolkit, like which is prepared very strategically? What do you want to say about that? Has it really helped you out to, you know, get your mission or get your goal accomplished? Like the videos. Absolutely. Which you know. Yeah, absolutely. So basically, CyberNOS is having a very structured methodology, as I told you earlier. Yeah. that CISSP cannot be done 
within 48 hours mm. so it has to have some kind of hand holding done the minimum level of preparation for a candidate varies from 3 to 6 months so cybernos right. helped immensely because there was a structured way of learning so we used to have a daily sessions of 4 hour where there used to be the clearance of the concepts from the manoj sir followed by as a homework we used to do the practice test followed with the videos and as i said we we were given to read 15 to 20 pages that you know help very immensely in this particular journey right. and apart from that there is a doubt clearing sessions also which used to be there um in the in the sessions which is very essential for any candidate because as i told cissp is a very conceptual exam you know where we cannot mug up anything and right. go to that exam and try to you know get the same kind of questions appeared on that exam no questions will be there in that exam which will mock the practice test so the only way to pass that exam is to learn the concepts and cybernos helped immensely to get that concepts inculcated Okay, that's a good question. So, my tips to the future CISSP candidates is: you should first follow the structured methodology, which is provided in the CyberNOS. Okay, that will prepare you um, conceptually, basically, which is very, very much essential for this particular exam. On top of that, the the tips which I could give to the candidates is that read every question. three times in your practice test try to analyze from that reading you should be e- easily able to knock off two options which are not relevant so that gives you 50% chance of of passing to this particular exam so then the only thing which get into your mind is concepts so out of those two options you have to apply your concepts and then choose the right answer or derive to the right answers so that is the only way don't mug up the things like the formulas or any anything like in in wireless we we have different uh, categories so don't go go and mug up all those just try to concentrate on the concepts that is very important so the concepts is the only way through which you can sail through this particular exam and my tips to the candidate is you know try to take notes it is very essential to take notes because these notes will come handy in your last minute preparations that is very important and utilize your time effectively so please do take breaks i mean this exam is of 4 hours so strategize i mean when i did this particular exam i went up to 175 questions i took break i think around about uh, 75th question don't get disheartened if you go beyond 125 questions because there is some concepts okay where people think that if they don't get through the 125 questions there is still a dilemma so don't you know get into that mindset get focused to try and answer the question which is presented on the screen it is very important not to lose the concentration while answering any questions i mean there are i think 125 questions on which the people are judged there are 50 questions which which are not judged but while you are giving the exam you will not know so every question you have to answer from that perspective where you have to apply that mindset on the concepts which you have learned so that is the only best tip which i can give to the all the candidates now, once you passed exam what are the feeling that you got just when you came to know okay, the now uh, it has cleared the exam and you got that uh, uh, 
So basically, uh, if you ask me, Pratima, it was a uh, quite lot of struggle for me because I couldn't clear the exam on my first attempt. It took me third attempt to clear my exam, and when I walked out of the exam center, okay, when I was taking those steps towards towards the center where I have to collect collect the paper, the own the 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 time the moment when i saw that congratulations i was totally shocked i couldn't believe okay that i was able to clear this particular exam i mean i cannot describe that feeling i was you know i mean in tears at that time okay that i, I was able to you know finally crack this particular exam it was very i mean it was it was very emotional moment for me at that time but as i told i mean at that point of time i realized that the concept is the only way which can help you to crack this particular exam so yeah so i am very happy i mean after that i was finally able to achieve my goal to finally you know conquer this particular beast Yeah yeah definitely why not i mean there is a structured way of approach where there is a hand holding as i said for 3 months apart from that the good part which i liked about this institute is there is also a chance given to get enrolled in the next batch without any hesitation so that is very essential because that can give a second level of revision to any candidates who are going to appear for this particular exam and that is very important So yes I will wholeheartedly recommend Cybernos to anybody who is aspiring to become CSSP Thank you Aditya thank you for your thank you for the awards I hope the CSSP aspirants will definitely going to achieve the latest thoughts Best wishes to you Aditya Thank you Pratima and thanks to Manoj sir as well. It was nice meeting you again.